Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video, we're going to be looking at concatenation. So, to demonstrate that, let's have a plus operator. This plus operator in Java can mean two different things. Basically, it can mean like an addition operator, so we can we can have two operands on either side of it, and we can, and it can basically add the value. The other um, function that it has is that it can act as a string concatenation operator. So what that means is that it can basically conjoin two in two uh, strings, two string values. So for example, a first name and a last name. What I'm going to do is explain this with a method. So we're going to say public void print full name and we're going to pass it two parameters. We're going to pass it the first name and the surname. So we're going to say string first name and string, remember string is a capital letter because it's a class, surname. So here we've got our method print full name, which as we said it's going to print a full name based on the parameters of which we have two. The first one being first name, the second one being surname. Now in the method body we're going to have system dot out dot print line. So it's going to print to the terminal window and what we want it to do is just before we actually print the name we want it to say what it's printing so what we what we want to say is full name colon like this just so it's we know basically what's being printed out so let's then concatenate with this concatenation operator as we said it is now in this context it's a concatenation operator so what we're going to say now is first name and notice that it's not in brackets or anything because we're referring to the variable here. So we don't put it in brackets, in uh, speech marks, sorry. Plus surname. Now, if we were to leave it like this, what it would print out is something like this. If it was John Smith, it would print out like this, John Smith without a space. So what we need to do is, right after this, um, uh, this uh, concatenation operator here, we need to have space two speech marks, like a pair of speech marks, another plus, and within these speech marks, just leave a space. So what I'll print it out will be like this. This string will be concatenated with this first name variable, which is passed as a parameter, which will be concatenated with this space, because this is just basically, it's still classed as a string, but it's just a space. And it'll be concatenated with this surname passed here. So let's try this out compile, create a new instance of the class, we've got it down here in the object bench, so let's print something out. So we need to, as we said, pass it two parameters from the method that we just called. So we'll just say John, and it needs to be in speech marks obviously because it's a string, Smith. Click OK, and we can see here that it says full name John Smith. So. That's a basic example of um, concatenation then. Another point to make with concatenation is if we just get rid of this but we keep the system out.print line and we say something like 20 plus 40 which, which we've already used and we know that that would evaluate to 60 and we put in front of that just we just put something like hello and then we put after that an, another addition so, so we have something like 30 plus 40 what will be printed out here is 60, no space, then hello. And what you might be thinking is it would print out here 70. But what happens is because after a string literal, all of the um, all of these operators are now concatenation operators. So after this string literal hello, all of the these operators are string concatenation operators. They're not. Um, addition operators like mathematical uh, functions so let's see what gets printed out then compile new instance ah we have to provide the full name again so let's go back here let's just get rid of these two uh, forgot about that let's just get rid of those two uh, parameters compile it again create a new instance print full name which we just left the method name as it was, but you can see here that it's done the calculation of 60, hello, but it didn't, as we said, it, it isn't going to print out the uh, 70, it's gonna print out 30 concatenated, so 
3040 in this sense. That's basically wanted, what I wanted to describe for that. What um, We could just do another quick example as well. So we could say something like, if we have a parameter here and just say int, um, actually let's change the name of the method first. So let's, so let's say um, add 10 to this. Let me change that to 10 to this number. So what this is going to do is basically we're just going to say something like int input num and what we're going to do in here is say um, so we've got our method add 10 to this number which is basically going to as a parameter take a number and then basically add 10 to it and print it out to the um, to the terminal window so we're going to say something like 10 plus input num so this is basically just showing the difference because we're now using a variable so let's go out of this and compile create a new instance and we're going to be asking for a parameter now and we don't have to include speech marks because it's an integer so let's say 50 so we're expecting 60 to be printed out in there which it is as you can see so that's basically it for this video thank you very much for watching if you did find this video useful then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe